four, that's the number. You aren't gonna wanna miss this one. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I think we just have a driver today that I'm not gonna want to stop hitting. We've got Ping G425, the new range for 2021. I'm excited. I'm pumped about this driver. I might be a little biased towards Ping drivers. I've used, them, I've used them in the past and they are quality. Just been hitting a few here. I feel like I can hit it anywhere on the face and it's gonna perform three models this year, as has been the way with the last few years, actually. You've got Max, LS Tech, SF Tech, let's go straight into the tech, what the Ping have to say. So the three heads Ping have this year, we got the Max, the SF Tech, and the LS Tech. So the LS Tech is the low spin head, SF Tech, straight flight technology. Designed a little bit of a draw bias, try to cut down on that left to right shot that a lot of golfers play. So the SF Tech and the Max head are both 460cc, the LS Tech at 445, so it's slightly smaller profile, deeper face as well. So it just looks like a little bit smaller club head, which is quite nice down by the ball if you're into that little thing. All three have the weighting at the back. The LS Tech, the lightest one at 17 grams, SF Tech 23 grams, and the Max at 26 grams. On the LS Tech and the Max, that weight is movable left and right to allow for a draw or fade bias, where in the SF Tech, it is bonded in the heel of the club to encourage that rotation of face, helping with that draw. All three models have Dragonfly technology in the top of the head. So if you're looking down on it, you'll see kind of slits at the back of the head. That's so they can remove as much weight from the crown as possible, making it super light and then they can position the CG elsewhere on the club to help with forgiveness and ball speeds. You've got the new T9S Plus forged face. So forged face on a driver, they can make it super, super thin, as flexible as possible. That way your ball speed gets as high as possible. It's trying to maximize some distance doing that. And you've got the turbulators on the top, which we've seen on Ping's drivers since G30, I believe. And that's to decrease aerodynamic drag trying to boost some club head speeds. The LS Tech, they say, knocks spin off 200 to 400 revs. Obviously that's subject to strike and how you deliver the club, but that is what they say. Right guys, that's what the boys and girls at Ping have to say about the three new heads. So we've got Max and LS Tech in a nine degree, and we've got SF Tech in a 10 and a half degree for this test because SF Tech only comes in. 10 and a half degrees. So we had to stay with that, obviously. Don't have anything else. Uh, shaft wise, we're gaming a Tensai Raw Orange 65 gram X, tailor made TP5 golf ball, and we've got all the drivers in their standard setting. Keep it fair. So, initial looks I like the look of ping drivers, to be honest. The turbulators, they frame the ball quite nicely. Ball sets up in the middle, in between all the turbulators, and it just looks really good. Big, long head, looks forgiving, looks helpful. Actually, one thing to keep in mind about Ping is they've always had, or as long as I can remember anyway, the heaviest driver head in golf. So all your shafts are gonna be counterbalanced. So take a little bit of weight away from the head. Now you can get non-counterbalanced ones, but the head then feels very, very heavy. So counterbalance just takes a little bit of weight away from that head and just makes it feel a little nicer. So, Max, let's see what we've got. So, highest forgiving model. Let's see. That's a strong start. Yeah, my usual little cut. Don't mind that too much. a little bit of a pull, yeah, it is indeed. Right guys, that is your Ping G425 Max head, and I have to say, Max is a good name for this. 
I, I didn't strike all them too cleanly, but ball speed stayed really, really solid. There's a lot of help in this club. Probably one a lot of a lot of people will be looking at this year just for that extra help. Span quite nicely, kind of mid-spin, but the ball speed stayed so high. If I heel toed that, only a couple of mile of an hour drop off there. That's exactly what Ping Raymond for for this club. Let's jump into the LS Tech now. See if that spin does drop as much as Ping say it will. Now for the LS Tech. So this was actually quite easy to pick up off the ground when I was changing the heads over because it is a good bit smaller and a good bit deeper than the Max. Quite easy to spot. Heel to toe, smaller. Back to front, smaller. Depth, deeper. It's actually a lovely looking little head, so it is. One thing to kind of keep in mind about this when you are testing the three heads is the swing weight in this is actually one point heavier than the other two. Just get a little bit more feel down there for the faster swingers. Right, let's give it a little bash, see if it is that couple of hundred revs less than the max that Ping are saying. A little off balance, but a good strike. Oh, spin actually jumped up a little higher. Let's see if that's just a bit of me though, or the club. We'll hit a few more. You actually can certainly feel that extra weight in the head. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to feel it that much, but I certainly can. Great, sounds great. I did struggle to middle that, I won't lie. Very much a kind of low toe, low on the face kind of strikes from me there. We might have a little look at maybe a different setting in this towards the end of the video, see if we can get it dialed in a little bit better. But now, let's move on to the SF Tech. Right, SF Tech, so Ping's Draw Bias Club. Like I said earlier on, only comes in 10 and a half degree, so I'm gonna have to try and dynamically take a little bit of loft off it without affecting the face too much. Some of you might be saying to your screen right now, Stephen, why don't you just loft it down a degree? And to that I will say, I'm not going to, because if you loft it down, you open up the face slightly. This is a draw bias driver. We wanna see how much draw bias it has. Let's see how we go. It's gone back to that nice big head. I do like the look of it. It is very pretty, very pretty. So, let's see what we can do. Good strike to start us off. And there's a tight little draw. Ping, does exactly what it says on the tin. Let's give it a few more and see how it goes. This driver won't go right if I try and make it to, try to hit a big cut here and see what happens. That face is just coming around nicely every time. Let's try and leave it a little open and see what it does. Try to get that kind of slappy cut. Bottomed it a little. Bottomed it a lot. But that hasn't gone ridiculously like I thought it would. Things just going left. Yeah. Draw by his driver, anyone? I think I got the one for you. Yeah, so that's Ping SF Tech. Let's compare the three heads now, see how they perform. We're gonna to to take out the one I hit, try to hit that banana shot with, because um, it's just gonna distort the data a little bit. So let's have a little look, see how the three of these compare with a normal golf swing. Let's jump in. So looking at ball speed straight away, your 425 LS Tech, so I would typically get my highest ball speeds out of low spin drivers. Just seem to be able to maximize them a little bit more. So there's what, the 170 average. 165 and 168 between the SF Tech and the Max. Very, very similar. Not a huge amount in it between the three really. Just five mile an hour between LS Tech and SF Tech. Launches, all very sim similar. As like I said, I tried to dynamically present as low a loft as I could with the SF Tech, just to get that, try to get down to that nine degrees, the same as the other one. So 
kind of worked out okay. Carry distances, 10 yards in it, not the end of the world. The biggest thing you notice here is spin actually, and that LS Tech, I wasn't able to get that drop off and spin. Like Ping kind of said, there was that kind of 200 to 400 revs lower. I reckon that was possibly due to the setup of the club, so I'm gonna hit a few more now in a minute. I'm gonna see if I can change that strike and get that spin dropping down. But let's look at that curve. G425 max, zero feet on average, so I'd hit a few fades in a few draws. 425 LS Tech, slight fade bias, which is what I would expect. Your kind of slightly heavier head for me, I'm gonna struggle to square it up as much, but also your low spin drivers. I always find tend to have that little bit of a fade bias. But let's check out SF Tech, 17 degrees of left, 17 feet of left draw, which is pretty good for me. I am a fader of the golf ball. I can turn it over if I need to, but I would generally kind of stay in that little bit left to right ball flight. So certainly very helpful. When I was hitting shots, I actually almost struggled to get it to go right. I had to hit that big blocky one to get it to go right. Um, otherwise it was just turning over really nicely. Certainly one to look at as a draw bias driver. The draw bias driver game is quite strong this year from all the manufacturers. So Ping really uh, in a tough category there, but certainly a good contender. Looks very good, performs well. Right guys, so that is how they all compare. We've got LS Tech back in the hand here. I've gone for the nine degree with a flat setting this time, just to kind of lower that, uh, lower that lie angle a little, see if we can get that strike away from the toe and the bottom of the club. If we can drop the spin on this with that ball speed, could be a gamer. Let's see how we go. guys safe to say that little two degree lie angle change lower my spin just able to release that club head a little bit better almost turned it into more of a draw bias driver now for myself anyway getting that release timing much better let's have a little look at the stats compared to the other one in the standard setting see if it's maybe worth it right guys so we've got the ls tech flat versus just the standard ls tech so we can see ball speed stay pretty much the same launch angle pretty much the same carry pretty much the same but looking at the spin, there's your 200 revs of difference. I was just able to square that club face a little bit better with the flatter lie angle. Just able to release it better, get a bit more of a central strike, lost 200 revs of spin. And also, if you look at the, uh, the curve there, we went from 27 degrees, 27 feet of fade bias to almost 20, to, to exactly opposite, 27 feet of draw. So that's a big change as well, just from being able to release that head a little bit better. So this LS Tech might get a little chance in the bag in that setting. See how we go with that. Now guys, that is your Ping G425 for 2021. Three great looking heads, kind of do exactly what you're expecting them to do. Slightly lower spinning when I got in the right setup in the LS Tech. Max hit it anywhere on the face, very little ball speed dropped, which is fantastic. SF Tech we saw could get that draw bias going, which is great. Certainly worth coming in to have a little look at, guys. I'm a big Ping driver fan, like I said, and I think we can get one of these suited to almost anybody. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. Book in for fitting here with myself in Leopardstown, and let's get you sorted with a driver for 2021. Hopefully we'll see you up here soon, getting you sorted. I'm gonna leave a link for the Instagram as well. Give it a little follow. It'll just give you a heads up to when new content's coming out so you can stay on top of things as well. Also, Hit the thumbs up while you're down there. Let's give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Wanna ring the little bell? Give you another idea when the new videos come out, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you very, very much for tuning in again.